So let me start off by saying, I really wanted to believe him. Like, I really thought that I, like, found the one. You know, and I thought that he had actually changed. But now look at this. Look what he done up and did. Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on, everybody? You have now tuned into my session of Juice Boo, okay? I've been saying juice since I was a teenager. Every time I used to tell my friend something, so I was like, you know what? Let's do a segment where we talk about juice. We don't need no damn tea, okay? All right, so... Let's first start off with the positive, you guys. So, shout out to us. We have hit 3,000 here on this channel. Whoop, whoop. We are doing it. We are definitely back on the rise here on this channel. My other channel is doing okay. But, you know, here on this channel, we talk about usually recaps. I just kind of keep it pretty consistent. But I think I'm going to start doing some juice sessions up in here. You know, kind of mixing it up a little bit. So, um, definitely, if you guys like that, make sure you thumbs up and you share and all that good stuff. Give me some motivation, honey. All right. So, this story right here is crazy, y'all. This is about Kevin Hart. And let me tell y'all, before we even get into this, the whole reason why I did my little intro is because... My, even my book thing knows I got a little crush on Kevin Hart. I mean, me and him is probably like around the same height or maybe he's just a little bit taller than me. And, you know, I just feel like he's a little cutie, okay? You know, I like my little chocolate. And, you know, he's funny as well. I love the fact that he's driven and he just seems like he's really down for his kids. That's the positive, right? <laughs> Now let's talk about what's going on. So I recently woke up to Lady Nika. She had this video where she was talking about the whole situation. And I'll definitely link her down below. Hey, boo. So uh, pretty much what's going on. I did a little bit of research here and there. And it seems like somebody pretty much extorted, is trying to extort him, blackmail him, trying to get that money. They're trying to get millions from him because they have... <laughs> Sorry, my birds is chirping. Because they have a sex tape with him and someone else. It was probably the chick. And let me let me let y'all hear a little something before we go any further. Listen to this. This is from TMZ. This is your second marriage. What made you want to do it again? Uh, I got a good one, man. I got a good one. I can't, I can't play any games. You call it your rib? Yeah, I call it my rib, man. And, and the funny thing is people, I don't know if people understand what that means, dude. It's, it's from the, it's from the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, rib is something that you can't live without. <laughs> no, but I got a, I got a good one, man. Look, I can say on record, you know, within my, my last marriage, I take full responsibility for, you know, for the mistakes that I made. I'm not sitting up here like, man, I don't know why I didn't work. I did, I did wrong. That's why I got out of it because I said... You should be happy and you deserve better. At that age of 22, I wasn't ready to be married. Didn't understand what it was. 36 now, man. 36, I got a good woman. She 30, about to be 31. What else, what am I looking for? What, what else is out there? You, you can always try to find something that's that's better, a, a bigger a bigger ass or, or some, some breasts, but that never ends. Right. So when you do find something that stimulates you on a mental and physical and emotional level, at this age, what else do I need? She understands. When I say I got a good one, I got a good one. Right. A logical, thinking woman. Do you understand how hard that is, man? To get a, a woman that can think on a logistic, like, term? Like, I wouldn't be a good cheater right now because I don't feel like I can trust you to cheat. So you wouldn't want to cheat with me because I'd be questioning you. Hey, what you, you take a picture? What you doing? Right. You, hey, what you doing? What, 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 why you want in there? What you doing? You about to post that? It's too much. It's, there is no, there is no sanity that comes with it. So why, why risk it? What am I, what am I going to throw it all away for? It ain't worth it. It's not worth it at all, man. So yeah. So we, I remember him saying this too when he had this interview because I listened to it and I was just like, wow. You know, some people, the thing about it is they're better at giving advice and taking it for themselves you know you can give the most amazing advice but when you look at somebody's actual life a lot of times it's just not right and i mean i can attest to that because sometimes i can give the best advice and i just can't take it for myself so I, I i see that but you know it's like damn like i really wanted him to win this time around you know he seemed like he was so happy he seemed like he had changed and it kind of makes you feel like damn can people actually change or will they always be this way you know um it says here 
uh, what's this? That she was like, well, that's just. Sorry, you got Steve Bannon. Let me catch it. Put that on mute for a minute. So it says here that she pretty much like did some really good video that she has that she wants to put out. And here it says the real reason Kevin Hart um, orchestrated the Texas Hurricane Relief Fund, this so-called good deed, was done to get ahead. As we knew, he was dam- he had damaging footage. Was the damaging footage was pretty much one click away from being exposed as a liar and a cheater. So it was kind of like a distraction, is what they're trying to say. Kevin Hart was privy to me, wanting to expose him, as I had made countless attempts to expose his information to various blogs in the attempt to also get paid. However, Kevin Kevin Hart was tipped off every time and most likely paid them off as they would not take on the story. Hence why I'm, I am exposing him in this way for free. Hence why he started the Texas Relief Fund. I'm like, come on. Between the dates of August 17th to August 20th, The weekend of his pregnant wife's birthday, oh damn, Kevin Hart was recklessly partying with my friends and I, drinking, doing drugs, and having sex with multiple women at the Las Vegas. I wonder if she, when she says doing drugs, I wonder if she mean like weed, which, you know, it's still drugs, but it's like, okay, you know, that's more so something you see around every day, but if it's like that hardcore white stuff, oh Please tell it. Tell me it ain't so. Anyway, in the Cos- Las Vegas Cosmopolitan Hotel, seeing Kevin Hart blatantly disrespect his marriage in the way he did was appalling to me. It's appalling, but girl, you already did it? it. I wonder if she's the same person that he did it with. Anyway, so Kevin Hart's womanizing ways are despicable. I personally know a handful of women who run with the same circle as I do, and they have also had sexual contact with Kevin Hart. They, too, know women that Kevin Hart has also had sexual contact with. For the record, I do not claim to be a saint. I know exactly who and what I am. The difference is I am not married, nor do I pretend to be perfect. Kevin Hart was so drunk and drugged up, it was an effortless attempt to film and take pictures of him. I hope every celebrity learns his or her lessons from this. Regardless of your financial status, you are not invincible. Stay honest, faithful, and real. Everyone knows once a cheater, always a cheater. Well, I don't know about once a cheater, always a cheater. Because I see some people change. Like, didn't, um, what's her name? Uh, now I can't think of nobody. Oh, Steve Harvey and his wife. I think he cheated and he's doing pretty good. Uh, who else? Um... Swizz Beats and his wife, Alicia Keys, aren't they doing pretty well? So I don't know about the ones a cheater, always a cheater thing. And Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, I think they're pretty good right now. And, you know, they started off in some type of infidelity from what I heard. So I don't know. I mean, some people do change, you know, if they find the right one. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I really wanted him to do better, though. But it's kind of disappointing. But I'm going to still, you know, support him. I still... Like, this is, like, the same thing with Nicki Minaj. Like, even though they have shitty relationships and, you know, they have... They're not the best as far as role models for relationships. I mean, we shouldn't really look at celebrities for role models for relationships or whatever. But as far as their work, as long as that stays consistent, me personally, I think that we should still support them. I don't care what you're doing in your personal life. That's on you. As long as you're still giving me the same quality of work and you still, you know, putting some good messages out there, that's what I'm going to look at. You know, I'm a, I, but I ain't going to take your relationship advice. <laughs> I, 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 that's just me. What do y'all think? Definitely let me know down below. And um, once again, shout out to Lady Nika. Check her out. And stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless, guys. I will see you on the next one. We're going to be back for Empire. I might be doing Star. I'm thinking about it. And, of course, once Love and Hip Hop switches up, we're going to be back with that as well. So stay with me. We coming. We doing the thing. We moving. Laters.